All right, we have an opportunity that's been unique here over the past couple of weeks. We have an opportunity to talk 49ers from outside somewhere in San Francisco because the rain has given us a little bit of a respite. So I've found this cool little park at Page and Buchanan. Just gonna walk up the steps and discuss something that you guys hear me discuss a lot and I have over the years, offensive line depth. You need at least six, preferably seven quality offensive linemen to make it to a Super Bowl and to win a Super Bowl. And you know, the 49ers have struggled with this over the course of the Shanahan tenure. And I think that every team struggles with it because offensive linemen, you know, the guys that can block the proliferation of talented pass rushers, because some of the best athletes now are pass rushers, right? So the linemen who can actually get the job done are, I don't want to say few and far between, but they're hard to amass and it's hard to get five of them on a roster. But the problem is these seasons are marathons. You got 17 game seasons, so you have to have more than five. And case in point, the 49ers. Right now they're without Aaron Banks, their left guard. I talked to Aaron in the locker room. He said that he's got both a knee and an ankle issue from kind of getting rolled up on against the Raiders. He's confident that he's going to be back for the playoffs, the first round, which is probably going to be the week after this game against the Cardinals. But still, the 49ers needed a fill-in for Aaron Banks while he was out. And lo and behold, they definitely have a sixth quality offensive lineman in Daniel Brunskill, who filled in for Banks at left guard. Brunskill has now played every single position on the offensive line in his NFL career. Remember 2019, right tackle and left tackle? That was so needed. I mean, he was a stud at tackle in 2019. In 2020, they needed Brunskill to plug the gap at center. He did a good job. He's been the starting right guard since then. This year, obviously, that's a position that's been taken by Spencer Burford, but Brunskill has been rotating with Burford so that the rookie isn't overexposed. And now, all boom, all of a sudden, Aaron Banks goes down. Banks has been good this year. Not a bust, as a lot of people wanted to call him a bust. Didn't give him a chance to develop, but now he's hurt for a couple weeks. So Daniel Brunskill has taken over at that left guard position. And boy, was Brunskill good against the Raiders. You know, the 49ers linemen are especially proficient blocking for screen passes in space. And that's a really good skill to have when players like Christian McCaffrey are on your football team. But on the big McCaffrey screen late in the game, it was Daniel Brunskill flying in there like Superman to take out a Raiders defender and allow McCaffrey to spring free for another 20 to 30 yards. We've seen Jake Brendel do that already this season, right? Not on a screen pass. He's, I mean, he's done some work on screen passes, but remember the dope play that the 49ers ran against Arizona and Mexico City? It was Jake Brendel who was putting a hat on Buda Baker, a much smaller safety, 40 yards downfield. Do you know how hard that is for a 300-pound lineman to put a hat on a, what, 180-pound safety? Somebody that's 120 pounds lighter than him, 40 yards downfield? That's impressive stuff. And the, the crazy thing is the 49ers have managed to combine the athleticism needed from their offensive linemen to be able to make difficult blocks in space like that with good enough anchor ability and pass protection. This is the best pass protecting line that the 49ers have had under Kyle Shanahan. They rank in the composite metrics that you see Ben Baldwin put up there. They rank seventh or eighth. So finally, the 49ers have attained above average pass protection and it's been a huge deal. And one reason that they have that above average pass protection is because they have multiple quality offensive linemen and that stretches past just the starting five. Brunskill is a really solid six. Obviously Colton McKivitz, I think they think is a solid seven. You've got other depth like Jalen Moore and then you could go further down the list to future projects like Nick Zakel, who the 49ers are envisioning as their center of the future and he's probably in a good living situation for that Nick Zakel is roommates with Brock Purdy anyway the 49ers will go as far as their offensive line takes them their line was beleaguered injured in both 2019 and 2021 especially in 2021 and ultimately the pass rush got to the 49ers and they lost in the Super Bowl in that 2019 season and to the Rams and Aaron Donald in that 2021 season so you know, there's going to be a lot of noise. There's going to be a lot of QB blame, a lot of Brock Purdy talk, a lot of defense blame. But I think at the end of the day, the, the, the one variable that's so correlated to winning or losing a Super Bowl, and Kansas City knows this really well when the Chiefs lost to the Buccaneers because their line was entirely hurt. At the end of the day, it is offensive line quality. And it's going to be up to that for the 49ers to get the job done.
And here's the park at Page and Buchanan with a beautiful view of downtown and a red bike. There it is, nice lightweight bike. Better go get back to it. But City Hall for San Francisco, former state capital of California, which is why the dome is taller than the capital of Washington, D.C., is very visible from here. You can see the gold on top as well. Beautiful city, cool little park. Page and Buchanan before the rain resumes.